Houston Methodist launched me into the public spotlight by uh, telling the world that they were suspending my privileges for supposedly spreading dangerous misinformation about COVID. My ENT and sleep medicine practice morphed into this COVID center in response to my patients' needs and wants. I have treated over 2,000 people successfully. Unfortunately, we don't have monoclonal antibodies, so I was able to treat her despite that. I gave her high-dose uh, IV steroids. I gave her high-dose IV vitamin C. I gave her other vitamins. Um, and I gave her high-dose ivermectin. I, I think we all know that early COVID treatment works. It saves, li it saves lives. And I am not going to be silenced, intimidated, or bullied by Houston Methodist, Houston Chronicle, or any, anyone else who wants to target physicians that question the narrative. Medical freedom has been hijacked. It's been hijacked by hospitals, big pharma, insurance companies, and the federal agencies. Media companies um, and the bullying of physicians that don't follow the narrative in hospitals and governments that are unwilling to share important data about the vaccines and about COVID treatments have bred mistrust amongst the public. Methodist Hospital is part of this problem. They have chosen secrecy over transparency. They have listed on their website two of their key core values are integrity and accountability, yet they won't share their data with us. The um, Freedom of Information Act and the Texas Business Code require nonprofits like Methodist Hospital to reveal their data. Uh, I have made formal requests and receive nothing. But we have lots of questions. We want to know, of all the million plus people that you have vaccinated, how many of those have had an adverse reaction? And what yeah, are they? Yeah. And then of all the people who have recently, recently been admitted with COVID, how many of those people are fully vaccinated? How many of your fully vaccinated employees are having breakthrough cases. And of the 2,879 patients that have died in your hospitals, how many of them were refused early treatment? Yes. Financially, we have a lot of questions. In 2019, Methodist Hospital reported over $4 billion in assets. This was before COVID. Let's see what they've done since COVID. How much have your uh, executives profited from the COVID windfall? Do you have any financial relationships with the vaccine companies? Do you, <clears throat> how much are you making from the vaccines? How much have you been rewarded by giving remdesivir? And what have your complications been from giving remdesivir? Because they have not responded to my request for information, I've decided to take legal action against Methodists. I want to make this clear, I'm not seeking any financial gains from this or personal gain. I'm simply seeking the truth, which we all deserve.